No. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. You don't want to jump into the void? Hello, uh, everybody. I'm trying I'm, to figure out where to jump. I'm Nate. This is uh, Doom 3 with Insanity. Holy shnikes. Okay, Did anyone, I didn't do anything. Yeah. I remember when Chris Farley tackled a uh, stewardess out of his uh, a hotel. No. That was a real thing. He dove out of a window. That was, I'm dead serious. How far... Okay, I didn't put us too far back. I put us about 10 minutes back. That's, that's nothing. That's nothing. This is all part of the game. Resetting checkpoints. And crying. Learning from your mistakes. Making a mess on the floor. And dying. And dying. Because it was funny. So, what other things do you think I'm going to play, Vince, on the on this year? Can you, can you, can you, uh, guess? Um. I mean, you... Well, I already know your Spooktober yeah, stuff. Yeah, you already know the Spooktober stuff. What about the main stuff, boy? The main stuff. It doesn't involve you. Uh, because yeah. the you stuff, you already I know. I have a feeling Yeti's going to pull you into another Grand Theft Auto here pretty soon. Maybe. He's thinking about one. Uh... One that is one of his favorites, uh, but we will see that when it happens. Uh, I was the one who suggested Chinatown Wars when we did that Let's Play. That was me. That's my favorite. Hello, Tubby. Die, Tubby. That's what... I think my favorite insult of all time is Porkass. That's what you call an officer if he's like being a huge jerk and he's like one of those fat cops. Like super troopers who doesn't do anything. Did you see Super Troopers 2? No, I have not yet. I haven't either. Travis says it's big funny. And if anyone can be trusted, it's Team Travesty to tell me what's funny. I mean, it's rated R for literally everything an R-rated film can be rated for. So it, it has to be raunchy and funny. I mean, the first uh, Super Troopers, they throw baby powder on that guy's dingle. Yeah. Or what, yeah. I need baby powder! And then, and then the logo for the drug organization is like a monkey with his wiener and a banana. That makes sense. No, that was that was the that was the Super Troopers one though. They're like, we're looking for this this logo, and it's a monkey with a big wiener. It's not working. The demons shut the what the hell? The demons shut everything down. We're shutting it down. OSHA violations. Uh, so we were talking about we talked about fast food. We talked about films. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much of the crap happening, guys. The crappening. You remember the happening? Yeah. I do. See what the heck? There, the only people scene of the happening I remember is that dude who flies in front of a lawnmower. He's like, really? he, yeah. He's like, please I, I remember construction me. workers jumping off of uh, off of ledges and. I don't know, this, the only scene that stuck with me was the dude who was like, you know what would go really good to mulch this lawn? Me. Here I go. Try to stop me. He didn't actually say that, though. No, this is the abridged version. This, this is uh, the director's cut. Interpretation. <laughs> the director's cut of... Dude, we should just dub over the entirety of the happening. It's just a pretty quiet... Um, it's a super quiet movie. movie. There's not much sound. Well, I, I think they did that on purpose because they wanted to... They wanted to hype up the spookiness of it. Like the, oh no, people are killing themselves in silly ways. Ah. And it wasn't even that they were killing themselves and, and like, it was the plants that was causing them to do it. Yeah. I remember I saw that happening a long time ago. I don't own many, like, horror movies. Like, horror, as you were talking about on your unboxing, uh, when you got that Zobi mystery, uh, which I, I wonder what, it, what he got, everybody. Watch that video. Um... But that one, we got that Zobie mystery. I agree. I'm not really a horror fan, so I wouldn't really buy a lot of horror merchandise unless it was something that I really, really, yeah. really liked. There's not. I'm not really like chomping at the bit to get like a Sharknado merchandise or fucking the Shining. Well, the Shining is like one of the few ones I actually would get merchandise. I love the Shining. You know, it's been such a long time since I've seen Shining that I don't really remember it all that well. I'm gonna have to watch it again. Well, Jack Nicholson shows up and he's like, okay. I can't do a Jack Nicholson impersonation. <laughs> okay, Jack, I'm gonna write a novel here with my wife and demon child, and we're not gonna kill anyone. And then 
he like he drives himself crazy because he's he has cabin fever, and then he starts imagining that he was in the hotel all along, and then person in the the, the photo on the wall is like. Mr. Nicholson, you've been here all along, and he's like, Aah! and then he freaks out, and then there's like the the Grady twins, which are the two girls who want the little boy to follow them into death, and then the, the little boy says red rum, and then red ram, red ram, and then uh, Mrs. Torrance shows up, and then he goes, here's Johnny, and then he runs like a hell and stabs his hand, and then Jack Nicholson freezes to death in the grotto. What's the best Jack Nicholson move? Ooh. He has to be in the top three build. That's the that's the trick. The bucket list. Oh wait, were we talking about the bucket list recently? Uh, not me and you. I don't think me and you. Okay, because like, I was the bucket list is a, a decent film. Yeah, I like it. I, I liked it. It's really depressing, but it's really good. And it's also got Morgan Freeman. You know what would be funny, Jack Nicholson? What would be funny if we were both in a film together? <laughs> that would be funny. Except to make it kind of serious. It has click syndrome when it was like, funny joke, funny joke, funny joke, funny joke, serious. Funny joke, funny joke, funny joke, you know? That's how click mm -hmm. was to me. Cause click was very... Serious towards the middle. Yeah, and end, and end. Yeah. Adam Sandler is like, oh no, I fucked up my life. And then the kid is like, my dad's stereo is a Bose. <laughs> Your dad's stereo blows. And, oh god! And then uh, I hate Adam, how the doors just. Oh, I yeah. wish you had to like. Maybe if you had headphones in, if the original Xbox had that feature, you could listen in on where the demons are coming from. There was headsets for the Xbox, everybody, but it was like a chat headset, like a basic ass. You know, you played FIFA 03 with your mates, and then you're like, "Go on, then kick the footy." Go on, then do your worst. <laughs> do your worst. Manchester United, hmm, quite. You can't. Oh, there he comes. That's how you impersonate every British man. Okay, I'm gonna go back because I think I need go on, then. something. Go on then. <laughs> Fire up your Xbox. Go on then. Mates, I have a PS4. Go on then. Buy an Xbox. You cheap wanker. <laughs> Get you an Xbox. Lift in use. My ass is in use. That's because it's coming back to me. Yeah. So station one was where I was at, where I called it to. Yeah. Oh, I see. And here it comes. It's working on it. So I guess if you can go to one of the lift uh, stations, then you're fine. And you can recall it. But the problem is you jumped off at literally the worst point when you were stuck in purgatory. You were stuck in hell. That sounds like some kind of sick hell. Cat dog. Okay, so I feel like we need to... We need to jump. Jump the shark. Well, you took a little bit of damage, but it's fine. Not much. I like the phrase, jumping the shark. Have you heard that phrase before, Vince? Uh-oh. That's a slang term for when a company is on purpose, or a company or an entity is on purpose trying to destroy itself. So, like, when a show is, like, on season eight, and they're like, God, I want to die. Cancel me already. <laughs> I, I don't want to live anymore, like that '70s show. Did that '70s show do that? Yeah, like they, it didn't want to go past season seven, but they made them. I'm sad that they. Uh, no you more. heard? You heard about the ranch? Have you heard? Have you watched the the ranch? Yes, about the Danny Masterson molestation yeah. shark uh, rape or whatever uh, accusations. Yeah. And that they're writing him off the show. No, he's been written off. Oh, how would they write him off? Um, they had an, a new character come in and threaten him, um, like the, an old boyfriend of, um, his ex-girlfriend, oh, the old lady. yeah. See, I and, only watched season one of The Ranch with you, and then I just haven't. Oh. So you might even, uh, not even know about his girlfriend. Yeah, it's okay. I need to watch it again. Or. Ugh. Yeah, you're almost dead. Okay, that hurt. Oh, you're dead. Ten health. Three health. Dead yeah. health. Don't. Just take the lift. Take the lift, Vince. But Don't. the lift doesn't take me anywhere. Oh, it doesn't? It's all locked. What? Wow. This That's is why I'm doing level. that. Difficult level. Okay. Well, we'll just play this for five more minutes. Keep. Yeah. This is. 
really frustrating. I've had we had points in Doom sixty four like this too though. Yeah. When I'm just like, what the fuck? And then I die, and then I die, and then I draw. And then I die. And then I draw more. When I get back to this lift part though, I think I'm just gonna save. Smart. So that I won't have to do all the Again. The precursor. And again. Precursor legacy. Woo! You just launched your chainsaw backwards. Just pushing myself away. I use chainsaw as a method of transportation, baby. You don't believe me? Check out my resume. <laughs> chainsaw enthusiast, 1997. Actually, no, that would be bad. I was like six then. You want your meat tenderized? Use here, this chainsaw. Here I go. <laughs> Check this out. Ugh. I don't know. You know, you know what's worse than a show jumping the shark? A show that uh, you haven't watched for a while, and then you try to get back into it, and you just can't. Oh, yeah. I hate those. This is what happened to Steven Universe. Because they added so many goddamn characters. It's like, okay, dude, I get it. This character is also a gemstone, and they may or may not be evil. Okay, cool. Whatever, bro. Alright, got you. I mean, it's still a good show. Oh, God! But, like, I can't. I haven't watched any of the newest season. Just because, one, I don't have time. And two, I keep forgetting to. Like, boy, I should watch. You know, I should catch up on Steven Universe, and then I don't. Yeah. There's a lot of shows like that. Shows fit into three categories for me, everybody. Cool, it's a thing I know exists. I don't want to watch it. Uh, yeah, I liked it. I haven't watched it in a while, though, or... Man, I really should watch that. This is the three categories. So, like, a lot of shows fit into the man I should have watched that category. Because, yeah. like, it's either A, they're all done, so all eight seasons are on Netflix, or, you know, or you, so you can binge them, or whatever, or something like that. And then there's other shows when I just I just fell out of the fandom. Like, Walking Dead. Did you, you fell out of that fandom? I fell out of the Walking Dead fandom, yeah. After season five, like mid season five, I was like, you know what? This kind of sucks. And then I haven't even started it, so like. Yeah. I don't know. That that's a show when they can literally be like, remember that character you liked? Well, fuck you. He's dead. Oh, by the way, we hired this other actor to also be in there, and they killed your favorite character. Fuck you. But you're oh, you're gonna like him. Oh, you're gonna like this character who killed the character you liked, and then we're gonna kill him with another character. Fuck you. That's basically <laughs> what, that's basically how The Walking Dead works. Remember this character is canonically in the comic books? Well, fuck you, he's dead. Remember this character? Oh, he's dead too. Fuck you. You have to constantly insult the viewer. Remember Shane from season 1 and 2? Well, he's back in season 9 because fuck you. I don't, I think, because I don't know how that's going to work because uh, the actor who played Rick Grimes says his contract ends after season 9. So a lot of people think when they bring season 9 back that he's going to get killed. But the stupid thing is the actor who played Shane, which was like his rival for the first two seasons until he got killed, uh, that dude is coming back, like they renewed his license. How's that possible unless he's only going to show up in like, you know, three season two uh, file footage type thing, you know? Yeah. Like one of the characters is like, remember when Shane bought that cheesecake and put his dick in it? And then it like flashbacks and he's like, what's up guys, I found this cheesecake. Look, it's like American Pie Bowl cheesecake. And then, yeah. <laughs> wasn't, it wasn't the actor who played, I don't know. Because he looks, he's been in a lot of weird shit, the actor who played uh, Shane in The Walking Dead. He was in Baby Driver. Was he? Yeah. Which character? He was one of the henchmen of the first heist who died. You know? And then they replaced him with John Hamm. I like John Hamm. Everybody likes John Hamm. He's so cool. He's extremely talented. I never saw Mad Men, but a lot of people told me it's like, oh, you like John Hamm? Watch Mad Men, and I'm like, okay, and then I uh, don't see. My wife watched Mad Men, mm -hmm. and I catch glimpses here and there from the show. Yeah, I don't know if it really seemed like my kind of show. Yeah, I mean, John Hamm has done a lot of other shit past that, like Walking Dead. Like he was in an episode of SpongeBob. He was in an episode of Spongebob. It was actually an episode of Spongebob that made fun of Mad Men. I'm dead serious. Huh. It was an episode when Mr. Krabs 
uh, realizes that frozen food is really expensive, so he thinks he can sell frozen Krabby Patties. And uh, they hire John Hamm to do it. And John Hamm's character is literally, like, his name is just a fish pun version of his character in Mad Men. And then he's, like, he's, like, fucking up Mr. Krabs' image and ruining Patrick's life. It's really funny. Exceptional show. The yeah. weirdest guest on any episode of Spongebob. Oh, there's, there's so many, there's been so many guest actors on Spongebob that I can't really name them all. Because they're all so weird. We'll extend this episode until you get to the point you're supposed to be at. Uh, but, okay. That'll be your only chance to jump in there. You know? Can't go. Get back go. But yeah, the Johnny Depp was in an episode of Spongebob. Oh, Johnny Depp always takes an opportunity yeah. to do something weird. He's, he's, he's weird. Gene Simmons was in an episode of Spongebob. Okay, well, I'm going to save it here, and that and is actually the end of the episode. Sweet, so we can do one more episode then. Perfect. So, um, yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching this Gene Simmons adventure. If you enjoyed it, drop a like and tell us other games to play. But until then, everybody, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next adventure in... Doom! Doom. Three. Later, dudes.